What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to use Twixter Pro. This is a tutorial one of you suggested that you wanted and you like really, really wanted it so I I'm making it. You're welcome. <laughs> If you don't know what Twixter is, it's basically a plugin you can get for Vegas Pro which allows you to do super smooth slow motion. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes it can go funny, but overall it is a great plugin. If you don't already have the plugin, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get it. Getting straight into the tutorial, you first want to import your media by clicking up here. I've already got my media here, this is my video. I'm going to drag it onto the timeline and I'll quickly play the video for you. You can see the video is of me doing a backflip and this video was shot in 30 fps so the slow motion on it isn't really great i'll cut the video just before i do the backflip and just after the backflip and then if i try and do slow motion on this the standard way which if you haven't seen the tutorial i've got on that check that out so i'm gonna shorten this to 25 percent speed if i play it you can see the frames are really 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 choppy and that's of course not good now what twixter does is it basically places a brand new frame in between the current frames of the videos and the frames that it creates are basically a blend of the frame before and the frame after so by doing this it can kind of simulate or pretend to have slow motion when it really wasn't recorded that way also because of this it can sometimes look a bit funny and you can't get weird clipping and stuff yeah getting into this i'm going to show you how to do it firstly i've already decided that i want my video to run at 25 percent speed you can have it run at any speed you want, it's completely up to you. What I'm first going to do is just move this end clip out of the way for the moment. And then I'm going to hit U on my video and audio to separate them. And then while holding control, I'm going to make the audio slow motion. The reason I'm doing this now is because Twixter doesn't affect the audio at all. So you're going to have to make the audio slow motion yourself anyway. So now doing that, we can see it's at 25%. I'm then going to drag out the top video clip not holding control i'm just going to keep it normal and drag it out to the end of that clip and then i can get this end video and just slap it back on the end if we play that now you'll see that that middle flip clip kind of repeats itself or at least the landing repeats itself once we apply ooh, i placed the marker accidentally once we apply the slow motion to the video clip it'll just work nicely you'll see what i mean so you then want to go into video effects here you want to look for twixter pro just by searching it at the top here this is if you already have it installed. You then want to drag it onto the clip. See how it go. Now my video event effects just opened in my other monitor there. So here it is. Now there is a lot of options on this window. You only really need to look at a couple of them. So the first I'm going to show you here is speed. You want to turn that at 25% by just typing it in. Or whatever speed you're using. And then under that you've got frame. This is the frame rate that the video will render at. So... I'm going to set this to 30 because I want to export this video as a 30 FPS, especially with the previous and last clip being 30 FPS as well. It'll just make it a bit nicer for the render. It'll make it look a bit nicer when viewing. Of course, if you're doing 60 FPS video, you can also do 60 FPS up here as well. It's completely up to you. Now, essentially, that is the slow motion. If I hit play here. You can see the slow motion does occur. So yeah guys, that's basically how you add slow motion to videos which aren't necessarily ready for slow motion. When you do this, you'll find some clips come out looking amazing, some come out looking okay, and some, to be honest, will look a bit crap. At the end of the day, the best choice for slow motion is to have a camera that can record in a high frame rate. But if you don't have that, Twixter is the best way to go. And also, if you do have a camera that can record in high FPS and you just want it to look even slower, then you can still use Twixter on that as well. But yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Also, if you have any new, also if you have any video suggestions on tutorials you would like to see, comment them down below as well. I'm always up for suggestions. But that is going to be it. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. I hope it helped. Remember to like the video if you did like it. Subscribe if it helped. If you haven't already checked out, check out my main channel. The link should be on screen and in the description below. And some of you may know I've started up a Patreon page. So if you want to support me on Patreon, the link for that is in the description as well. That's it. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.